we've been doing a series of these meetings in the community. We started at Wesley United uh, Methodist Church. Uh, we've been to Hamilton uh, United Methodist. We have uh, been to St. Paul, as you can see, mm -hmm. <laughs> Baptist Church, mm -hmm. uh, New Hope, mm -hmm. right? And, um, and so we, we knew that this was Westminster Centennial. And so we wanted to be sure to touch base with you uh, while we were, um, while you were in the midst of your centennial um, celebrations. So why don't we start to my left and go around and introduce ourselves. Just yes, before you do that, I yes, just want to make one comment to the article you were reading from Dick. Yes. And when I read that, and where he was talking about the black schools, uh -huh. uh, I wrote in and black churches. And black churches. Yes. That's what I wrote yes. in the book that I, I had. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, my goodness. And I passed that around because, um, well, I grew up, as they say, a Methodist. Uh -huh. My mother was Methodist. Her sister was Baptist. And my stepfather was Episcopalian. And so in all of those churches and in the school as well, Negro spirituals. Part of the service. Hello, my name is Althea Garrett. I'm a graduate student at Cal State University, Dominguez Hills, uh, working on my master's and my final semester in humanities. And that ties in with my undergrad studies in music. And my mentor is sitting here before you from my undergrad studies. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have made it through that undergrad time. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be a part of this project. I have worked in the community on social issues. And so this is very dear and near to my heart because it's a preservation of something about our community that's positive and that's a help way into the future for those who can get the message and not turn it can I read that? Okay. Good morning, everyone. My name is Felix Romero, and I'm also a graduate student at Cal State Dominguez Hills in my final semester. And uh, I want to reflect on the first article, uh, the article about black music. It's me being not non black, but I still have a love for the music, and I'm, I have been collecting for, uh, I guess, close to 30 years. And so uh, the black community has, has impacted me, and that's what leads me to be involved with this program. And I thoroughly enjoy it. And uh, hopefully I will get to interview the gentleman across. Uh, but that's it, and I'm really happy to be here. And I should be sure that you know that both, all three of these students um, have, Dominguez Hills has a humanities graduate program. Uh, and so they were all students of mine in the humanities uh, music seminar, and they excelled at that. <laughs> so, yes. I am Lily Davis, a member of the church here. I've been in the choir for some 61 years, and uh, I became a Presbyterian by music because of music and curiosity. And I was on my way to a Methodist church. And I passed Westminster when it was at 35th and Dinker. And there was a Caucasian uh, pastor in the pulpit. And I wondered, what is he doing in our community? And um, they opened the door a little wider, and they started singing the solid rock. And right after that, swing low, sweet cherry. And the next thing I knew, I was walking into the church. I never did make it to Bethel. <laughs> so I've been a Presbyterian ever since 1943. Hello, my name is Antoinette Tarkington. And as my comrades are there, um, I'm also a, 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 I just finished the last semester of the graduate program at Cal State Dominguez in the Humanities program um, that um, Dr. Caldwell is also involved in, and that's how I was able to um, be part of this 
excellent opportunity here to be able to uh, research and acquire the information. Yes, I am a liaison, research liaison for, for this um, program here, and I've had a great time uh, collecting and meeting all the elders and getting involved in all the churches and seeing the people and knowing the history and the extensive the, 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 the knowledge that we have that we need to preserve and, and the personalities that have such a wealth of knowledge uh, to, to, to express that we need to um, gather and, and co collect and preserve. I've just had a grand time just being part of this and I continue monthly to gather this information and um, uh, uh, research this information and, and get it to Dr. Cole. And I'm, I'm glad to be here, thank you. Um, uh, Antoinette, um, it reminds me that one of the last persons that Antoinette um, was involved with an oral history with um, was actually uh, Joe Westmoreland's wife. Uh, but uh, you know, Joe passed within the last um, month or so. And the one of the impetuses of this project has been that some of our um, uh, leading seniors uh, involved in this field are passing on, and we wanted to be sure to get their histories uh, down uh, before it was too late. Mm -hmm. So I did attend the funeral mm -hmm. of Joe Westmoreland, and we have a, a whole package of all, I mean, they, they did an extensive um, mm -hmm. uh, presentation of all that he's done in the past up to the present. Mm -hmm. And it just was so wonderful that the funeral itself was grand. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, just to make a mention, um, is that the Margaret DeRoe that has the heritage? Um, Margaret Burroughs? Oh, that's Burroughs. No, not DeRoe. DeRoe, okay. Margaret. Margaret um, uh, Burroughs is, is from Ch the Chicago area. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Judith, introduce yourself. Um, my name is Judith Blakey, and um, I am an interested um, musician, a uh, member of the Edna Hammett Porter branch of NAM. And my interest is, as a musician, to well, as a, a growing musician, to learn about you know where the music that I love comes from, uh, so that I can become quality at you know the music that you know I, I have to do. I, I'm John Mays, uh, a member of the advisory board, also a member of Wesley United Methodist Church, and I am highly pleased to be a part of this magnificent project. And I should say that uh, John is a, a member of the United uh, Methodist Male Course and was a member of the Chambray Group. Well, um, I'm Glenn Jones, a uh, native of Los Angeles, uh, almost 55 years ago, <laughs> come November 3rd. Um, Youngster. Youngster. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up in three churches. Uh, my parents were members of the People's Independent Church of Christ, which at the time was located uh, 18th and Paloma, uh, off of Central Avenue, which was uh, split from First A and E, uh, and uh, the church was organized in April 1915. And, uh, and, and then my grandmother, my, my paternal grandmother, uh, was uh, Seventh Day Adventist, so I would go to church with her on Saturdays. At, the old Compton Avenue, Seventh Day Adventist, one third ninth in Compton Avenue, which later moved, moved to the west side and became Normandy Avenue, Seventh Day Adventist. Uh, both of those African American congregations. Um, and then two blocks from where I live uh, was Miracle Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. And when I didn't get to People's Independent, I walked up to Miracle and uh, Subsequently, uh, received Christ under the uh, pastor of the uh, line of Adams and was baptized in Miracle. And, um, and that's where I was basically nurtured uh, with my music. Mm 
and um, used to sit at, at the People's Independent. I used to sit at the council of that Austin Pipe Organ with Pan Benjamin every Sunday in my little short pants suit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and Donnie White said, "Was that you?" I used to see that little little chubby boy sitting there.